Well, hey there, church family. Happy Friday to you, and I hope you're looking forward to the long uh, MLK, Martin Luther King weekend uh, for many of us. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about a big church word. It's called uh, sanctification. Um, and sanctification is, is the action or the making or the declaring of something holy. And we hear a bit about sanctification, though the word's not used, in Romans 6.4. And Romans 6.4 says this, Therefore we've been buried with him through baptism into death, so that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, so we too may walk in newness of life. You know, no one enters into the process of sanctification without going through uh, what's been called a white funeral I don't know if uh, if any of you have heard that term before, but it, it's a it was a phrase that was coined by Alfred Tennyson, who was a, a famous poet in Victorian England in the 1800s, and he he coined the phrase "white funeral" at a time when someone was giving something up of themselves for someone or something else. And and a white funeral really is what your burial uh, happens in baptism. It happens there largest in our life, at our moment of baptism, where our old self dies, and we have this first big white funeral. <laughs> and at that moment, we're sanctified in the initial sense, and our place in the kingdom is reserved. But our life, it continues to be marked with multiple miniature white funerals, as we continue to bury our old self through the process of sanctification, as we work on our lust, on our anger, on our greed, on our envy, we're called as we recognize those things, and as God reveals those things through his spirit and through his word, that those miniature parts of our life, they need to die. And the question is, have you come to your last days in one of those areas of your life? Have you come to them in just thought and sentiment? Or have you come to them finally in reality and in action? You know, no one goes to a funeral in excitement. No one goes to a funeral happy. Um, death means you stop being. But there are parts of you, parts of your life, brother and sister, that need to die. You need to bury them with the blood and the grace of Jesus. You know, we skirt that cemetery all the time and we refuse to go to that death in reality because it's not easy. And, and let's be honest, if, if it were easy, we would have done it by now. Or maybe we just don't want to. So, have you had your white funeral? Are you ready to have a funeral for that part of your life? It needs to go. The question is, are you willing to go through that white funeral now? And that moment of agreement between you and God depends upon you, not him. And as always, the shepherds are here for you day and night, no matter what time of day. Uh, you don't have to wait until the time of response and praise on Sunday. Because any time is a good time for a white funeral. I love you guys on behalf of the shepherds. Uh, just want to tell you that we love each and every one of you. We're praying for you earnestly. And uh, um, we're here for you whenever you need us. Hope to see you on Sunday. God bless you.